Hello and welcome! If you've just stumbled onto this video and you're a little bit lost and confused, uh, no, this is not a video essay. It is a special video to commemorate Pixel A Day's one year anniversary. Uh, if all goes according to plan, this video should be releasing on the day exactly to the day a year ago that I released my very first video on the channel. So I wanted to do a special video uh, to celebrate and, uh, I don't know, do something special and silly. My badge keeps um, breaking. Uh, I had to fix it with pliers. Everything you see um, is extremely cheaply put together. I predict that this banner will probably fall down at some point as well. I put out a little question asking, what should I do for my one year channel anniversary? Should I take some of your questions and answer them? Or should I make a silly video where I eat cake? And you all said, yes. So today I will be eating a delightful cake that I've just baked and also answering some questions that I've received from you. Now, I haven't seen these questions. They've been collected and curated and selected by my significant other. So if your question didn't make it in, I'm sorry, it's not my fault. I had a little think about how I wanted to uh, do this video and do the cake eating and question answering. And I decided while I'm doing both, I might as well do both at the same time. And so, I decided that the questions would be inserted into the cake and become part of a glorious question cake that I would then eat and answer the questions as I arrived at them. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. Without further ado, let's bring out the cake. And here she is in all her glory, my beautiful question cake. Uh, this is actually seriously one of the best looking cakes that I've ever made in my life, and I wasn't even trying. <laughs> the questions are inside. I have about a dozen questions that I've rolled up and inserted into the sponge. It was very difficult, by the way, to um, insert the questions without looking at them, but I managed to do so. So I have not seen any of the questions. I have no idea what the questions might contain. Let the cake eating commence. Them's good cakes. No questions so far. I was hoping I would get to a question by now. Aha! The first one. There it is. Excavated from the sponge. <laughs> How's the cake, lol? The sponge turned out quite nice. So, uh... I'll probably manage to get through a good quarter of it without starting to feel sick. I'm working my way towards the middle now, so I know there's a juicy, juicy question in there. Oh, there's no way I'm getting through this thing. Oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> a terrible monster is attacking my setup. This is my bread. You want some cake? That's not for you. No. Birdie wants things that are not good for Birdie. Another question. Do you have any pets? <laughs> um, I think that one's just answered itself. Yeah, hello. There she is. Um, this is my uh, cute and also extremely annoying birdie. She's a cockatiel. Her name's Santina. It was Santino because uh, we thought we thought she was a, a dude when we first got her, and I named her after the skeleton in uh, the new Tales of Monkey Island game. But then uh, she started being very female. <laughs> And um, she's actually just laid a bunch of eggs recently, so yeah, definitely a, a she. She sits on your shoulder so you can pretend that you're a pirate. <laughs> she's trying so hard to get to the cake. 
If I let her, she would eat a whole bunch of this cake. Yeah, that's my bird. On to the next question. I'm so glad I put the strawberries on this cake. They're really helping it go down. Because the rest of it is basically all just butter and sugar. Oh, I see some questions. Are there any games that you would qualify as perfect? This one makes me think. Um, I guess there are some games that come pretty close. But at the same time, the word perfect kind of penalizes games that are more ambitious because if a game tries to do uh, just a few things and does them well and does them perfectly, then technically it's a perfect game. Uh, but a game might be more ambitious and try to do more things and do almost all of them right, uh, but not be perfect. So I, I don't really think about games that way in terms of whether they're perfect or not because it's so dependent on what they're trying to do. In a way, like I, I prefer games that are ambitious and try and do something weird and maybe nail, like almost nail it, uh, and do interesting things over games that stick to a formula and then you know apply and achieve that formula perfectly. A game like Hellblade is not perfect, but it's one of my favourite games, well, ever, because um, it did something really amazing and interesting. Um, even Breath of the Wild or like my my favourite game ever, Ocarina of Time, it's not perfect. You can always you can always pick apart little flaws, but yeah, I think that's what that's what trying to apply the word perfect to a game does. It makes you kind of picky and it makes you zero in on the few flaws that it has rather than what it tries to do uh, and what it does achieve. And I always find it more interesting uh, discussing games like, I don't know, The Last of Us 2 or Spec Ops The Line or something. Games that definitely aren't perfect but at least tried to do something interesting. I would much rather prefer that those games, you know, more of those games be made than um, just like more standard games that try and be perfect. Let me ponder that question more as I plow through more of this sponge. <laughs> Oi, I'm not even halfway done, just so you can see. Oh, another question, they're just falling out now. Oh, you're such a pest bird. Maybe when I have a million subs and a million patrons, I'll be able to afford a, a proper home studio or something so that I don't have a bird flapping around and ruining the whole video. <laughs> As I try and answer questions like, Pathologic 2 video when? I love this person. Um, uh, how did you know I loved Pathologic 2? I don't think I've talked that much about it. I would love to make a video about Pathologic 2 if I can think of something to say about it that hasn't already been said, which will be tough because there have already been some amazing videos by people like Guy and Ragnarox and Pim. I don't know, I've been thinking a lot about um, how to contrast games that are slow in pacing but somehow, somehow way more gripping and engaging than fast-paced games. I have no firm plans. Um, I'm, I'm taking my time with it and just letting it stew and maybe I'll replay the game again and um, see how I go. <clears throat> At this point I will admit that I am pretty much just combing through the cake to get to the questions inside. <laughs> how do you determine the topics for your videos? Uh, sometimes I feel like I don't choose the topics, the topics choose me. Um, because yeah, sometimes it, sometimes I just literally get an idea like a, a bolt out of the blue. And sometimes it's a more deliberate process of going back over like, games that I've played that have stuck with me and then just having a think about why is it that this experience stuck with me or why is it that I loved this game so much or even that why I disliked this game so much 
and then the idea is just kind of unrolling from there but yeah it's it's kind of different for every video it's that shower thoughts phenomenon sometimes where you're just um, it's like when you switch your brain off and stop trying to come up with ideas and deliberately do something to totally just veg out and chill and that's when an idea will come to you and that's happened a couple of times and so I really I don't know. I don't know where the ideas come from. I will say that my patron-only director's commentary has some uh, more stuff about how I came up with ideas for some of my videos and um, the sort of behind the scenes process of that. So if you're interested in that, consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, that video is available to any level of patron, including $1 patrons. So um, yeah, consider throwing me a dollar and getting access to more of my deep dark thoughts on all of that. Let's continue with another deep dark process, which is ingesting this sponge cake. <laughs> I lose strawberries of fruit, so I am getting some vitamins from this. Hey, who is my favorite member of my favorite band? That's such a specific question. <laughs> I haven't had like favorite members of bands in a long time. Like even the Beatles or something. I don't have a favorite Beatle. Yeah, I, I find them all to be okay. Another question. What's your favorite video of yours so far? Oh, that's a nice question. So yeah, I think the Fearful Beauty video is my favorite one, both in terms of how it turned out and also the process of making it, which was extremely fun and involved consuming copious amounts of romantic era music and art, which was fabulous. I think there might only be one or two questions left. This video has been not so much me eating a cake and answering questions so much as me just destroying a cake and answering questions. You made an excellent video about Echo. Well, thank you. A game not enough people have played. <laughs> I think I know who wrote this. What are some of the other games you really like that you feel more people should know about or play? Um, well, when I made my Fearful Beauty video, a lot of people in response to that said that they'd never played or maybe even heard of The Long Dark. And I think that's just a travesty because that game is incredible. It's such a good survival game. And it, the kind of experience it offers, I haven't quite gotten from any other game. So everyone should play The Long Dark. It's incredible. I'm also a sucker for roguelikes and probably my favorite roguelike ever is Duskers. And I don't think that anyone I've recommended it to has played it and tons of people haven't even heard of it. Um, so everyone should at least go and look up Duskers and see if it's for you. Um, personally, it's like one of the most immersive and gripping games I've ever played and it's just this little indie game and it's incredible. So more people should know about Duskers and play Duskers. Oh, and Stories Untold. Um, everyone should play Stories Untold. It's really spooky and atmospheric and um, its style of storytelling is really unique and it's a short little indie game like I think it's a couple of hours long to play and it's just it's a really cool experience so everyone should also check out that game. Okay let's knock these out. <laughs> Favorite Rocket League strat? Um, try and go where the ball is and try and touch the ball. That's my favorite Rocket League strategy and um, I fail that strategy quite often. Do you see yourself making longer video formats? I think it would be interesting to see you dissect a game even more precisely than you do now. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's a nice little vote of confidence there. Thank you. Um, I won't say no to anything. I won't rule out anything. I don't know if I actually have the patience or the stamina to do a really long video. Like I think my longest one was the Dear Esther one, which is 28 minutes long. And I actually, and if you watch the director's commentary, you will uh, learn this, um, I got pretty burnt out trying to make that video. <laughs> and it took me about a month and a half to make that video, by which time I was entirely sick of it and couldn't wait to just see the end of it. 
So an even longer video than that uh, would probably take me a million years and I don't know if I would even enjoy the process. Like I might very well get mentally and emotionally just burnt out trying to, to do it because the video editing process is really long and really sometimes really tedious and probably more so for me than other people because I don't have any video editing skills whatsoever so everything takes me so long to do. Um, so at the moment I'm keeping it manageable because I, I know my limits and I know if I tried to do something longer and more ambitious I would just end up um, having a meltdown. At the end of the day I make videos that I would want to watch. No. Um, and the videos that I like to watch are that kind of between 10 and 25 minute length um, unless like I'll make exceptions like H Bomber Guy's two hour long pathologic video I'll just watch that every day yeah those are the kinds of videos I personally enjoy and so they're the videos I enjoy making right now although never say never will there come a game that I will want to do a two hour dissection of maybe that brings us to the end of this Q&A extravaganza. As you can see, I've completely failed in my, uh, in my task of actually eating this cake. Uh, God, it's like a war zone in front of me right now. Um, but hey, uh, I had fun. If you had fun, please consider uh, subscribing to the channel if you don't already and heading over to my Patreon and throwing me a couple of bucks on Patreon. Finally, thank you! Thank you for watching this! Uh, thank you for supporting me and particularly to my wonderful Patreon supporters, thanks for supporting me. Looking forward to year two and yeah, stay tuned for more uh, next year. So have a great rest of 2020 everyone and I'll see you all soon!